Hello everybody, welcome. I'm going to walk you through a quick calculation, uh, doing mortgage calculations with the BA2 Plus calculator. So let's jump right into the example. So here we have, this might be a typical example you might get in a textbook or on some sort of examination question. Uh, you have a loan amount for a mortgage of, of approximately $400,000. Uh, the interest rate on this uh, mortgage is 5%, which is compounded semi-annually. Uh, you're going to borrow this money for 25 years. Uh, the payment schedule that you're going to pay this loan back is on a monthly basis. Uh, and the question might simply ask you, uh, you know, what is the monthly payment uh, that you will be required to pay uh, this loan? And secondly, there might be say, well, after, you know, so many periods, after X amount of periods here, you know, how much you're going to have in principal left on the loan, how much interest that you have paid on the loan, et cetera. So we're going to, sh I'm going to show you how to do this in the BA2 plus calculator pretty simply. Okay. So here's the BA2 plus, uh, there's some simple inputs that we're going to use here. This is the time value of money functions here. And so the first one is going to be N. So if we have, um, the length of the loan is going to be 25 years and we're going to pay this back on a monthly basis, our N is going to be 25 multiplied by 12. Okay, that's going to give us 300 periods. So 300 goes into N. So we have our, our first uh, of five time value money inputs uh, in the calculator. The second component here is going to ask you, well, what's the interest rate? Well, it tells you here, well, the interest rate is going to be 5%. So we put this 5% in here, but we have to go through a second step here with the interest rate because this is an interest rate without this compounding period uh, associated with it. And also the payments per year associated with that. It's not gonna be on this schedule of, of compounding. So if we press second IY here, you're gonna see we come to PY. And this simply asks you, well, how many payments per year are you gonna make on this loan? Well, we're gonna make 12 payments per year. So we put 12 into there, we hit enter, we hit the down arrow, then it comes to CY. And you can see here automatically the BA2 plus is gonna put the compounding periods per year is what you had put in for the payments per year, 12. This is not the case. In some cases, this may be, uh, the payments per year may be the same as the compounding per year, but in our case here, we have semi-annually compound, uh, semi compounding for that interest rate. So we put two into CY, we hit enter, and we have those two components in there. So we can come out of there now, we have those interest rate components and payments per year uh, inputted into the BA2 plus. The next input that we have to put in is going to be the present value and this present value is going to equal this $400,000 loan amount. Okay, so we put $400,000 within there. This is a positive number we're getting, right? Somebody's giving us $400,000 uh, to buy some sort of uh, residential home. Uh, the next component here is what we're going to try to solve for but before we can solve for that, we have to put in the future value component here. And the future value component, hey, at the end of 25 years, after I've made all my payments, uh, the future value of this loan is gonna be zero. So we have all that inputted within there. Now we can calculate this question here. What is the monthly payment gonna be? So all we have to do is press compute now, payment, and it tells us, well, hey, if you borrow this $400,000 for 25 years, paying it back monthly, semi annual compounding, uh, your payment's going to be approximately $2,326.42. So that's the first question that can be answered relatively easy in terms of solving what PMT would be. Now, to get to uh, the second component of, uh, of this question, uh, it says, well, after X amount of payments, how much of the principal is left on the loan? Or it may, in another question uh, surrounding this, like, hey, uh, of your first payment, uh, how much of that went to principal and how much of that went to interest this is this amortization uh, question that you may get in many different uh, classes or uh, applications that, that you may have to use. So what we're going to use here is this amort function here. Okay, so we can press second uh, PV. This is going to bring you to the amort function within there. And so the first input, is, it says, well, P1. This simply says, well, what payment period do you want me to start from? Okay, so in this case here, we're gonna say, well, let's just look at the first payment. Okay, so we're gonna leave P1 as one. So I wanna know, hey, just incorporating my first payment, I hit enter, I hit the down arrow, this goes to P2. I just wanna know just simply 
about my first payment, how much of that went to interest, how much of that went to print. So I'm also going to leave this as one, okay, oops, enter, hit the down arrow. It automatically computes what your balance remaining is after you have made that first uh, payment. So the next component says balance is 399,323 and 15 cents. It says, well, hey, after your first payment, you have $399,323 left to, in principle to pay off this loan. So if I hit the down arrow again, it says, well, hey, well, out of your first payment, our payment was 2,300 and some dollars, 676 dollars of that went to principal the other component of that payment went to pay the interest on that amount okay so this is an example of uh, of, of of you know showing you this amortization schedule and this is just simply for the first payment now a, a common question that you may get me say well let's say after five years right so we go after x amount of payments so let's say after five years, how much principal is left on the loan? Well, instead of just looking at the first payment like we just did before, now we're gonna say, well, let's say from payment one to payment 60, which would be five years, that 60 would be five multiplied by 12. After 60 payments, how much is left on the loan? So if we did this again, P1, we're gonna leave in here as one. Okay, so we hit enter here, we hit the down arrow. Now P2 is gonna be, hey, after five years. So this after five years is, hey, we made 12 payments multiplied by five, right? So this is gonna give us 60. This is gonna go into our P2. We hit enter to save that, okay? So this says, well, hey, now incorporating payment one all the way through payment 60, what kind of uh, principal I'm gonna have left on this loan? And we can also show how much interest you have paid up until that time, et cetera. So we hit the down arrow from there. It shows you, well, after 60 months payments, right? Or after five years, you have $354,000 uh, approximately left to, to pay off this loan. Fair enough, okay? We hit the down arrow here and it shows, well, hey, that means, okay, you paid approximately $46,000 in principal during that time and approximately $93,615 in interest over that period of time. So this shows you that, hey, in the first you know, five years of this loan, you've paid much more interest on this loan than you have in principle. And, and this is reflective of, of an amortization type uh, schedule or loan. Over time, as we get deeper and deeper into this loan, if we looked at this loan uh, in, in the last five years, you'd be paying much, much more principal than you would be paying interest at that point in time. But this is an example of, of, of calculating some of those different questions. Like I said, not only payment, but then you may get questions that, hey, well, how much did you pay in interest during this period of time? How much do you have left in principal, et cetera? This video should help you uh, solve some of these questions with uh, the BA2 Plus calculator. So if you have any questions, please leave comments below uh, and I wish you luck. Thank you.